Trump has called his partial trade agreement with China, including 40 to 50 billion dollars worth of agricultural purchases, a tremendous deal for the farmers. But our next guest says he doesn't trust the deal. Let's bring in Christopher Gibbs. He owns and operates 560 acres of farmland in Ohio, raising soybeans, corn, and cattle. Uh, Chris, welcome. It's good to see you. And you're saying you don't believe anything until the soybeans are on the boat. And I've said that I don't believe it until, until they're on the boat. This is deja vu all over again. The president promised uh, massive purchases from Mexico. He promised massive purchases from the EU. Um, he's now promised massive purchases from the Chinese, and he's done that before. But let's just think about this a minute. Let's somebody has to kind of speak truth to power here a little bit. Let's just think about this. We've been uh, selling 21 billion dollars worth of of agricultural products to. Uh, China, and they're going to double that, mm -hmm. and we don't even know if it's one year, two years, five years. We don't even know what the time period is. So I'm really dubious, and I hate to be a, a downer on this all the time, but 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 somebody has to be practical. Well, and it, it's significant to note, and, and correct me if I'm wrong. You voted for Trump in 2016. Uh, your farm spans two counties that overwhelmingly supported the president in the next election. As I understand it, you say you wouldn't support him now. Is that right? No, I'm, I'm not going to. I'm not going to vote for the president, and, I, and I'm I'm on record as saying that. So, but it doesn't matter what he comes up with now. He could come up with this 50 billion dollars. He could he could walk across my pond and not get wet, and I'm still not going to vote for him because, you, you know, at the end of the day, my name's Chris Gibbs. It's not Judas, and I'm not going to send. I'm not going to sell my political moorings for for 30 pieces of silver. So, no, I'm I'm out. Even putting aside promises uh, from the president, Chris, I mean, do you believe that there could even be the demand for that amount of soybeans in China at this point with the African uh, swine flu taking grip there? Well, and, and that's that's a great point because their their need for for soybean meal and soybeans has decreased because and we're not quite sure how much uh, their pork production has been been affected, but certainly their their need is less now. They're going to buy those agriculture products from somewhere. And here's one of the other questions. Are they going to limit sales from somebody else? Or are they going to increase sales from the U.S.? And again, there, there's nothing here that we can really put our hands on because we don't have a written agreement. You know, I watched uh, China state media really closely over the weekend. And just to see what they were saying, the other side of this thing. And two of their uh, largest newspapers, one of them, the story was below the fold, and the other story didn't even appear on the front page. And when it did, they just talked about substantial progress. Well, $40 billion, $50 billion worth of agricultural products would have certainly been a story. But I would imagine they're going to buy those anyway <laughs> somewhere else whether it's all going to come from the United States, I'm completely dubious about. And Chris, so as you mentioned, the president had already lost your support, and I'm curious, we just showed the figures. Um, obviously, soybean exports are way down this year compared even with the recent past. What have business conditions been like for you? Well, just as of this morning, and let's just talk about pricing, um, we're all the way back. We had a little bit of bump um, in, in uh, futures prices for both corn and soybeans, on Friday, just based on this announcement. It was like the market nibbled on it. They almost bit. But over the weekend then, prices started to go down. So uh, just with that bump, we came, oh boy, all the way up to the cost of production on <laughs> soybeans. So we're still not making money, all the way up to the cost of production. 